Yo, what up guys? Cross save just launched today, meaning that you can play on any platform you want. I know a lot of you guys are going to be switching over to PC. Um, so for those who are switching to PC and are looking for some recommendations, this is the video for you. I get asked a lot, what are my settings, that type of stuff. So I'm just going to go over that as well as like a few tips uh, in terms of getting your, your stuff set up and like optimal keybind, stuff like that. Let's get into it. So first things first, your mouse sensitivity and your controls. This is going to be based on you, whether you like to play low DPI or high DPI. Uh, personally, I have quite a bit of mouse space to work with, so I tend to play low DPI and I would highly recommend it. Uh, for those who don't know what DPI is, it uh, determines how fast your mouse can move across your screen. Like It's basically just basic sensitivity for your computer. I play on a 400 DPI. Uh, in order to change this, uh, depending on the type of mouse you have, you'll have to download like a program. Uh, with my glorious mouse, it makes it really easy. Uh, you just download this program and you can change it right in here, change all the colors, that kind of stuff. I know Logitech has another easy program just like this where you can go in and change your DPI rather easily. But again, in figuring out which mouse sensitivity you want, you'll just kind of have to feel it out, play with a few different ones and uh, find something that's comfortable. So moving over to keybinds, there are a couple things I'd like to point out as I'm scrolling through here. First of which is that there are no correct keybinds. There are little tips and tricks that will highly, highly help you uh, when you are making your keybinds. First of which is making sure that all of your keybinds are close together so you're not reaching your hands across the keyboard to try and interact or throw a grenade or something. So as you'll see here, I do have interact bound to my mouse. This is because uh, you're able to still shoot and aim and move around and do all your other normal tasks with your left hand while being able to uh, while being able to interact and shoot. This is a very good skill to have, especially uh, in PvP like Trials of Osiris, uh, being able to get a res and shoot and like sh strafe and crouch and all that good stuff is uh, is definitely a nice thing to have. Next thing is uh, switching weapons with numbers rather than mouse wheel. This will help your brain uh, in terms of just being able to focus on aiming and shooting with your mouse instead of doing a million other, other different things with it. But yeah, the keybinds you'll just have to feel out for yourself. Uh, if you want to take a few things from my keybinds, test them out, see if they're comfortable for your hands, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, it's going to depend on your hand size, hand type, if you got short fingers. Just feel out whatever's comfortable for you. Um, I'm sure you'll switch it around quite a bit. I actually just changed my keybinds recently and I'm still kind of getting used to it again. But I really, really like where my keybinds are at right now. Moving on to video settings, you're going to want to put basically uh, in this first section, you want to put everything on max. Full screen, uh, full screen mode is what I like to play on. 1080p as long as your monitor can support it monitor slash computer uh, I would leave the frame rate cap off if your computer can support it again uh, Max field of view is a great thing to have it makes the game feel a lot more smooth in my opinion Your screen bounds are going to be based on your monitor again Brightness I personally like to play on 7 that way I'm able to see absolutely everything that I can So moving on to advanced video I have custom settings on uh, you can set it uh, based on how your PC performs. So it'll do like default settings uh, for each zone there. But I like to do custom. Even with, I, the only thing I have on highest is the texture quality. Everything else I have on like lowest or off. Uh, especially motion blur. Make sure you guys have that off. Motion blur is, uh, yeah, you don't want that on. I'm not really sure what wind impulse is, but I have that on too. Uh, render resolution, if you can have that at 100, if your PC supports it, highly, highly do so. Um, other than that, there's really nothing else that you you really need on uh, above its lowest. Everything that you guys have seen on my channel, at least um, th these are the settings that I have been using. I've not changed them, uh, and that's how my game looks. Sound settings, again, will be based on you and your Windows sound settings, but this is what I play at most of the time. Uh, if we're doing like a raid video or something, sometimes I'll turn the music up to three, but at my current volume, this is what I have stuffed at. So in terms of gameplay, uh, you can move your reticle to console default if you want. You can change the color, uh, your helmet, you can change it to often non-combat zones. These are the things that you've probably seen on console. 
Uh, assuming that you guys are uh, switching over from console. Um, you can turn notifications off, never show full battle tags, FPS display. Uh, as you'll see up here, I have that on. It's just nice to see if you're like losing frames or something like that. But again, these will all be based on you. You can just kind of mess around with these settings and feel those out. So the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is for those who are able to get up to 144 frames and have a 144 hertz monitor, um, just to be able to check and make sure that your refresh rate is running correctly on your, on your monitor, you're going to want to right click on your desktop, go to display settings. You're going to want to scroll down to advanced display settings display adapter properties for display one and then go over to monitor and then it should say your screen refresh rate you want to make sure this is on the max that it can be so again if you're running a run 144 hertz monitor or maybe you're running a 240 hertz monitor just make sure that is on correctly hit apply then click ok and you should be good to go uh, I know quite a few people that have had a lower refresh rate than their monitor supports on for a while and did not know that. Um, it's, it's a common thing that happens. It's happened to me too, uh, especially if nobody tells you or if you don't have like a PC savvy friend that tells you to switch it. Um, you, might, you might be playing on 60 hertz while uh, you think you're playing on 144 and you'll definitely, definitely see the difference when you're playing. So make sure you have that switch over. That's really about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the tips and tricks. If you do have any issues, uh, please leave them down in the comments. I'll try and help you guys out as much as I possibly can. Other than that, hope you enjoy your PC experience, boys. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.